I just need a simple way to air up my motorcycle and car tires. And today I'm going to try out this DeWalt one gallon air compressor. That's coming up right now. Hey everybody, I'm Cruise Man, and today I'm going to review the DeWalt one gallon heavy duty electric air compressor. It's the D55140 model. So let's get right into it. I hope you're having a great day. But before I start, I wanted to just remind you, if you're new to the channel, uh, here we talk about lots of stuff pertaining to motorcycles and its accessory reviews, product reviews, moto vlogs, just all kinds of topics. So if you like that sort of thing, please don't forget to click the subscribe button down below. Now, let's talk about this brand new DeWalt D55140. And you don't have to worry about looking all this up. I'll put links in the description of this video to all the products I'm going to talk about today in this video. I'm going to grab my knife and we're going to get into this. I would like to point out before I get started that uh, DeWalt did not sponsor this video. However, they did send me this compressor to test and review. So I want to thank DeWalt for that. But I want to let you know, no money exchanged hands. They have not seen this video before it goes out on YouTube. Now, I did find out just before I opened this, I went and did a little research online. And apparently, DeWalt has just come out with a couple of new cordless air compressors. If I had known that, uh, I might have opted for the cordless models because I think they're rechargeable. They use like rechargeable batteries. That would have been a pretty cool, convenient feature. However, I don't know the price. I don't even know if they're available yet. So let's take a look at what we got in the box. Now well, there goes my manual. Uh, you know, pretty basic. There's not much packaging. It's just a piece of cardboard covering it up. I'm going to pull it out. That's pretty simple packaging. Really, there's not much to it. Let me see if I can get it out with it up on this table. And we'll take a look at it. Get rid of the box. Okay. So here's the model or the unit. This is actually made for running like a le uh, air compressor nail guns. Uh, it's not really designed for what I'm using it for, but it's it's a small compact unit. It has a one gallon tank. It should be more than capable to air up tires on a motorcycle or on a car. Uh, it goes up to 135 PSI, which is much more than I'll ever need. The only thing I'm concerned about is I watched a few videos on this on YouTube and uh, a lot of people complained that this regulator leaked, that they could uh, notice air coming out of the regulator and they had to uh, take it apart and there was an O-ring problem where it wasn't seated properly. I'm not sure if I'm going to have that problem. We're going to find out when I go out and hook it up and give it a test. It also has your standard um, connector here. What I was looking for was something not just relatively inexpensive, but something that was small, didn't take up a lot of space. You can actually store it uh, setting up on the end like this if you want to. And I was looking for something lightweight, easy to move around, and most of all, something that's relatively quiet. Now, this one is rated, I think they said at about 71 or 72 decibels. Certainly not the quietest one out there. I think Makita makes one that's about 59 decibels. So it's not going to be the quietest one. But uh, as long as it's serviceable and quieter than the one I have, I have an old Coleman unit now that a friend gave me as a gift. And I was using it recently and it just burned up. It just stopped pressuring up the tank. This unit does have uh, not only the tank pressure, but also the regulated pressure. On the, I guess you would call it the left side of the model of this uh, air compressor, you'll see the power cord. There's also an on off switch for the motor, which is an oilless motor. And there's also a uh, relief valve or safety relief valve here that you can use to depressurize the tank when you're finished. And on the bottom, you'll notice this tank drain valve. This is so you can drain any moisture or condensation that might accumulate in the tank. And that's something that's very important to do 
uh, when you use an air compressor to make sure there's no moisture in the tank. Otherwise, you're going to end up putting moisture or water in your tires when you air them up. Now, I also have a couple other things I bought on Amazon. I bought a 10-foot hose. I didn't get a really long hose. Probably should have got a 25-foot, but I just got a 10-foot hose that has the connectors built in, the quick connects. And I also bought one of these Jayco tire pressure inflator gauges. And I have a Jayco tire gauge that looks almost identical to this, but this one has the quick connect on it so I can plug it right in and I can actually air up the tire while checking the pressure at the same time. Looks like a really nice unit. I'm really happy with my Jayco uh, tire gauge. So I thought, hey, I'll go ahead and get their brand of the inflator to go with it. So all I need to do now is air up some tires. Let's get to the garage. So this is my old Coleman inflation mate. And it's just about dead. Now I think it's also a one gallon unit, but I'm gonna turn it on and let you hear how loud it is. I'm gonna stand back. So the owner's manual says that before you use this for the first time, you need to break it in. There's a break in period. And to break this in, it takes 15 minutes. Uh, you have to open up this drain valve on the bottom, which is right here. We showed that to you a little bit earlier. You basically just turn this counterclockwise. And this is a drain valve and you're not supposed to let any pressure uh, build up in this tank. They just leave that open and then turn the motor on and let it run for 15 minutes. So we're going to do that first. Okay, so now we can shut off that drain underneath the drain valve, which is just a quarter turn like that hook up our hose and give this thing a test. But it's always a good idea. In fact, it's really important that you always open this drain valve on the bottom before each use and let any moisture drain out. In fact, it's probably not a bad idea to turn the motor on, let it blow out any moisture for just a few seconds, turn it off, then close that valve and then pressurize the tank. That way you make sure you're not getting any moisture into your tires. So now what I want to do is I want to turn this unit on and I want to see how long it takes for it to get to full pressure. And I also want to know how loud this is compared to my other unit. So I'm going to be using one phone to test the, to time how long it takes to build up the pressure to full pressure. And then I'm going to use another phone to test the sound levels. It's pretty easy to see that this DeWalt air compressor is much quieter than my old Coleman compressor. I'm getting about 75 roughly decibels. I'm only about three to four, maybe five feet away from the unit when I'm making these measurements. I'm not exactly sure how far away DeWalt uh, was when they did their test at 71 decibels. I suspect if you had a 15, 25 foot hose, you could easily have this thing 10 feet away and it probably would get to 71 decibels. Regardless, it's about 15 to 20 decibels quieter than the old Coleman unit, which was so loud, I would have to wait until I made sure my neighbors were awake because in the morning early it would wake them up. This is so quiet, I don't think I'm gonna have that problem. And it achieves full pressure in about a minute and 14 seconds, which is about four times faster than my old Coleman unit. I really like the compact nature of this compressor. It's very easy to store. I like the fact that it's quieter than the Coleman and it just is gonna be a perfect fit for my garage for what I need it for. 
Here you can see the 10 foot flexible hose with quick connects that I have installed and I've also got my Jayco tire inflator uh, installed on that and we're going to air up the front tire. I really like this little connector. It kind of locks in place. It's pretty cool the way it works. And then we just come down here and you can see our tire pressure currently is, it's at 40 pounds. It's actually pretty good. I usually keep mine at about 38 to 40. I'm going to let some air out. I've got a little relief valve over here. I press it. I can let some air out of the tire. So I'm going to get it down to about 30 pounds. Oh, it's under 30. There we go, about 30 pounds. Now we'll see how it airs back up. I have to release every now and then just to check to see kind of where the final pressure is. I'm going to leave it at 40, so I'm happy with that. As you can see, it's really quiet once the tank is aired up. So I think this is going to be an excellent little compressor for doing tires and just light work that I have. If I had a, a pneumatic jack, I could use it to uh, jack up that jack. So if you have a pneumatic jack, like a lift in your garage, you could use it for that. Or if you do other home projects, it'll work fine for small projects. I'm done with my tire. I'm just going to pop this off. My only real complaint with this DeWalt air compressor is if you notice the plastic on this gauge, it has a little bit of a marred finish. I was able to polish it out with some plastic polish. Other than that, this DeWalt D55140 appears to be a perfect fit for my needs. A small, lightweight, and quiet compressor for airing up tires and other light duties around the shop.